Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Masterbox's Mark I female British tank. And this is a 170 second scale. And the reason why I bought this particular kit is because at the time of this recording, it's about to be the 100th anniversary of World War I. And so I want to build a, uh, a World War I tank. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the instruction sheet. Parts for the hull. Wheels and sponsons machine guns tracks and photo edge part I want to talk to you about working with photo etch parts. This is a photo etch fret that contains the netting for the roof of this tank. And working with photo etch frets um, can be a little bit tricky, but not too hard really. What you need to do is that you need to use a knife and cut along the um, basically notches that holds the part to the fret. and then you just take it out like that. Now for this particular roof, it's pitched, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna use this piece of wood as a straight edge and bend the photo edge part to give it a nice curvature like this, a nice angle. Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look.
This is the completed model kit before painting, and it's a very good model kit. I like the photo etch roof um, that it has, and the details on the tank itself are very nice. The river details are very nice, and the tracks look nice as well. It's a very easy model kit to build, and I recommend this model kit for all skill levels, in, in, especially for the beginners. If you're a beginner, this is a perfect model kit for you because it's very easy to build and you, have, and you get a very high quality um, product in the end. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already sprayed my entire model with a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and give the entire model a coat of the base color. I'm going to protect my entire model with a coat of Future Flow Wax. I'm going to give my model a wash. What you see right here is a dilution of Black Artist Oil Paint and Mineral Spirits. And I'm going to simply give my model an entire wash. I'm going to give my entire model some dust effects. I'm going to use my airbrush and tint the entire model with a coat of uh, buff color. I'm going to give some mud effects. What you see right here is a um, solution of yellow glue and water. And right over here is a bottle of tile grout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, apply the glue to places where I want to have mud. And then I simply sprinkle on the tile grout on top of it. Alright, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the start to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering, and I did a good job. I like the rivet details on the model tank, and I also like the funky roof. Um, it just looks nice and funky at the same time. The camouflage paint design that I painted on there looks very nice. I like that. And I like the, um, the steering mechanism here in the back as well. I have to admit something to, uh, something to you. I think that this is the ugliest tank that I've ever seen. <laughs> Yes, it's ugly to me. But I have to put it into historical context. Even though this tank has a funky little roof right here, this is the very first modern day tank in the entire world that first came out. 
And when the enemy saw this in the battlefield, it really had a a, uh, a fear effect for the for the enemy. They were very very frightened of this machine. And I have to put this into context. This is a historical piece of um, of history. That completes this project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire uh, model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC, thanks for watching, and always please, have a great day.